I just have to get this off my chest. As a former elementary school teacher who did testing with my students all the time, and now as a homeschooling mom who does testing once or twice a year with my kids, if your child is scoring low in a certain area, I don't care if they're in a public school, private school, homeschool, it doesn't matter. Like if the teacher is saying like, oh, they scored really low on their science assessment or on their math assessment, make sure you ask specific details about the testing setting. Were the questions read to them? Were they not? Was the test timed? Now let me get to my venting part, right? So as my daughters are taking their yearly state assessments, we use the map test this year, but every test we've ever done is guilty of this. Let's take math for example. So once they reach a certain grade level, the computer no longer reads the questions out loud to them. They are responsible for reading the questions by themselves. Sounds good, right? Well, here's the problem. If they're taking a math assessment, that math assessment is only supposed to be assessing them on their mathematical abilities, right? Not their reading abilities, not their grammar abilities. So two things are happening in these tests. Number one, they're giving them word problems, which that's great. Students should definitely be doing word problems when it comes to math. But if they are a struggling reader and they get this word problem and they're struggling to read the words, even though they might know the math, like if you verbally read that out loud to them, they'd be, they'd be able to answer the question just fine. But because they're getting hung, hung up on the reading part, they're getting these math questions wrong. And then when their math score comes back, you're like, oh my gosh, my kid doesn't know how to multiply. Well, yeah, they do. They just struggle with the reading part. So I personally believe that whether it's science, math, like any of those other subjects besides reading, those questions should be read aloud. I don't care what age you are. Like if you truly wanna gauge whether or not they are able to do the math, then that should be read to them. The other problem that I'm having with these tests, and this goes all the way back to when I first started teaching, and this is gonna be a little controversial, sorry. I know we need to represent all cultures when it comes to academics. Like I totally get that. However, these assessments and even just like your normal curriculum books, the names that they use for the characters, right? So whether you're doing like a reading story or even like the math story problems, they will use the most like off the wall names that I can't even pronounce. And I swear like watching my own kid take all these tests over the last week, she's getting so hung up on trying to pronounce the names that it's like stressing her out and she's not even able to focus on the problem because she feels like she's reading the name wrong. So all this to say that if your kid is testing, whether it's with you as the homeschooling parent or in a school setting, I really think this is something that you should bring up. Now the teacher themselves might not be able to make any changes, but if enough people complain about this and it makes it all the way up the ladder to whoever developing all these tests maybe something can be done but just don't freak out if your kid is scoring low in certain subjects and they just happen to be a struggling reader because that might honestly be impacting their scores all across the board with all these story problems that they keep giving